uh, Albion. Mm. Okay, let's see. Uh, uh, doesn't look like it. Interesting. Ah, there we are. I was trying to see if I could get it up on my phone as well to see if the live thing was actually working, but it seems to be. So, good evening all. Hope we're all doing well. Um, <clears throat> I thought it might be a good idea to... Let me just get this other screen up. There we are. So I can see what I'm doing. Um, just run through the new things that are coming in the week. Um, there's been quite a few machines, which is good. Um, some advertising art as well. Um, some more books, which I haven't got around to cataloging yet. So if I just, I know most of you here are for slot machines, etc. So if we just quickly look at the other bits as a reminder, and then we'll get onto the slot machines, because I'm sure that's what you all want to chat about. Um, so books, um, there's some good slot machine books, don't forget. And these all end on, uh, when do these end on? 20th of June, which is two weeks away. So you've got a bit of time yet. Um, anybody who wants to buy any of those? Uh, evening Peter, Evening Balamat. Um, loud and clear, thank you very much, it's good to know. Where was I? Yes, books, so don't forget, fill up your libraries with slot machine books, there's some good books here actually, which are hard to find, drop a coin here, it's a good one, that doesn't come up very often. Um, a couple of German books, they're actually really good books, although they're written in German, but um, some lovely photographs in them. So check through these quick little videos, I've just done like quick flick through videos to um, show you what the books are like if you're not familiar with them. Um, uh, the advertising art section, that's sort of up and running now. So in here we've got some nice little show cards and just start to put some enamel signs on as well. So those of you who are into advertising, get your offers in on those. Um, this lot all finishes, I think, on the 27th of June, yeah. So as I said uh, last time, um, to to try and find a good compromise for, for everybody's feedback is to um, have everything finishing on a Sunday night always, but weekly as it were. So they're sort of in weekly batches if you like. So stuff goes on the website just as and when every day in theory, whenever I get around to doing it, um, but it'll always end on the Sunday. So um, anything else that gets added or anything that was added from today will end in Sunday three weeks time. And then like from Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, next week, anything that's added will end on today is in four weeks time as it were i think that makes sense i know what i mean um so that's that lot so slot machine wise uh, i've got pictures of this lot up now <clears throat> now unfortunately videos i spent all morning shooting videos of these 14 machines or whatever there is um went this afternoon to start editing them and for some bizarre reason i can't get them off the card that was in my camera i don't know why the camera says the card rather says it's a third full, which is about right for the amount of videos. Um, but for some reason, I can't get the files off. They, it says there's no files, even though it says the card is half, the third full. Very odd. So when I finish this live stream, I'm going to have another fiddle with it, see if I can find some way to rescue this card. If not, I'm going to have to reshoot them all, which is a pain in the what's it, to put it mildly. Um, it takes hours to shoot bits of video clip and humping all the machines on and off the turntable and uh, not looking forward to doing all that again but never mind if it has to be done it has to be done um that it will be sunday if, if that's the case so fingers crossed i can find these files um if not i've got to do them again um and there's another lot of machines that have come in in the past few days um for those of you who haven't noticed i set up a um Instagram account there's a little link on the on the latest news page here um, for those of you who don't know what Instagram is it's just a photo sharing site so for me it's very easy I can quickly take a snap on my phone or whatever I haven't got to worry about making it nice and neat and cut it out and whack it on um, Instagram just as stuff comes in or I pick it up or whatever so you can get a quick idea of what's coming in in a few days time because um, obviously it takes time to list stuff properly, take nice photograph, take a video and so on and so forth. Um, 
so so the links on there it will go on instagram and search for colcon.uk and follow it um and there we are there the things i snapped of this last lot that are in and you can see there's a load of bandits i picked up the other day um all sorts of some buckleys does it do this if i click on this does it blow up i think it does uh yes yeah, so there's four high tops three buckleys i think there is an aristocrat club master they don't turn up very often um jubilee a riviera and that one at the back there is a um, Furman front uh mills conversion uh, that's on penny i think a couple of the buckleys are on penny the high tops i think are all on sixpence from memory and i think the club masters on sixpence as well riviera's on uh, new tempe that's all those <clears throat> and what else was on this sweet little machine this is this little um whizball machine for those of you who remember when we sold off john morley's collection i actually found this machine it's in a right state in the bottom um of one of the machines i didn't even know when I, when I when i cleared john's place so only when i got back to the elephant house was unloading all the machines i thought this i can't remember what it was in now something i thought this is a bit heavy um, in the bottom of the machine was this little whizball machine, all thick with paint and then a right mess. Um, so it's been restored and uh, yeah, it's good to see it again a couple of years later. That's for sale. Um, vending machines, etc. So there we are. That's, um, you know, a good little thing to follow. Just for a quick heads up of what's coming in. Ah, uh, Andrew says, hi Steve, Eagle, you may have caught the switch on the SD card, it can stop you moving, ah, uh, interesting point, I was going to say I'll have a look, but it's not here now, it's on the other desk, uh, thanks Andrew, I'll have a look at that, possibly when I pulled it out of the camera maybe, it's weird to say, it says it's, it says there's files on the card, uh, you know, it says the card is a third full, when I look at it, you know, like the pie chart thing, but the um, when I go to list the files, the files are not there apparently. It's very odd. Anyway, we'll sort it. Um, where are we? Let's go back to here. Um, I had a couple of odd notes here to say. Uh, this weekend viewing, no viewing Saturday this weekend because I'm having a rare day off. I'm taking my nephew and niece out for the day. Um, Sunday's fine. Um, Monday I'm here as well. Um, although to be honest, you might be better waiting until next week. Um, there's some machine stands arrived. <clears throat> um, there's some nice little arcade sort of painted signs. I can't remember say fun this way, mini arcade and some change here or something like that. Um, so there's quite a bit of stuff actually to list next week. So. Um, you know, if you're thinking of coming to look at any of these stuff and you're free next weekend next weekend's probably better bet then you can see it all um i will be at the elephant house probably i'm not sure which days this week probably tuesday um if anyone's got anything they want to drop off uh for sale <clears throat> and if it's easier for you to get to the elephant house in leamington spa that's fine just let me know because I'm not sure yet what day I'll be there, but I suspect probably Tuesday, possibly Thursday as well. Um, I've got to get some props organised for a job, so I'm backwards and forwards again as usual. Um, so yeah, probably twice this week, I should think. Uh, so that's that. Um, yes, so I'm working on, in between everything else, Get the slot spares section organized um, and then a section for like um related stuff like arcade signs stands and the like um also working on the fairground section that's getting there slowly um and so on and so on so we keep plodding along doing more and more bits of the site so i think that was all of that lot my notes to say um, so yeah, as I say, I thought it would be a good idea just to, if anybody wanted to know anything about the latest lot of machines that were in, or the signs come to that, or any other bits and bobs we've listed, um, 
we'll do these on a Friday night because that makes sense if you are thinking of coming at the weekend to know what's on on a Friday to what you can come and see at the weekend. So if anyone has any questions on any of this lot or anything else, then fire away. Um, the bimbo box is just about working. I'm going to fiddle with it a bit in the next couple of days before I video it. Um, it's a little bit temperamental, but it's all there and it does work. <clears throat> Still works on 45 records. Um, I'll tell you, that's a nice project for somebody. I still haven't rummaged in the family album to see if I can find any pictures of me playing it when I was about five years old. I come from Hun Stanton. So uh, there probably is there somewhere. Um, Barrelomatic, is there a height up with a Formica case? Uh, yes, there is. Um, let me go back to that. What have I done with that? Let's open the Instagram thing again. Um, did I take a decent picture? I don't think I have yet, no. Um, you see on this one? Uh, yes, that one there. So yes, there is a high top with the Formica case, and I think it's the one that's in original paint as well on the on the um, castings, which is nice. You hardly ever see these days, very, very few left in original paint. The other three have been restored and repainted. Uh, one's a Seeger, I think that, uh, which one's a Seeger? I can't see on this. That was a Seeger, the first left hand one most in the picture. Um, and there's, I think there's two oak sided high tops and a Formica high top. And they're all on sixpence, I'm sure they're all on sixpence. They've all got jackpots, all got escalators. All work perfectly. Uh, yeah, nice machines. <clears throat> the Buckleys, I think two of the Buckleys are on Penny, and I think one is on Threepenny Bits. The Clubmaster's on Sixpence. Um, I think the Governor is on New One P's. Furman's on Old Penny. Extraordinary is on five cents, I think, if I remember rightly. Um, hang on, let's go back over here and have a look. I've actually listed these, so we know what these are on. Um, Extraordinary, yeah, nickels. That's a very nice one. It's got a side vendor, which works. Double jackpots, gold award. Uh, original paint on the case, which is nice. Kind of uh, like two-tone silver and blue, and, and the little Mills decal. You'll see when I do the 360 video. Again, probably by the looks of things, if I can't get it off the card. Um, so that's a particularly nice one. Uh, the governor is on, uh, yes, 1P. Jackpot, etc. Nice, good chrome on it. Nice machine again, very nice machine. Uh, the black cherry, that's all restored. What's up? That's on dimes. Again, all fully restored, very nice. Um, the Pace, this is a sweet little machine, quite small. Uh, what's that on this one? Nichols as well. <clears throat> they cram a lot in, if you look at the other photographs. It's, um, there's a lot of the small space. So rotary escalator, jackpot. Um, oh, it's a small case. The uh, instead of a cash box, it has a, a cloth cash bag in those, which is there, which is quite nice. So, yeah, really pretty little machine that. Again, another one doesn't come up very often. Um, where do we get to on those for the peerless pictures? That's all been restored it's on old penny. Um, full set of cards, and there's a spare set of cards for it as well. That works fine. It's got its original um, Klaxon motor in it. So that's ready to go. Stick it in your arcade or whatever. Uh, the Mini Seeger, that's on sixpence as they always are. Sort of untouched original. It's got its original cash box in it. 
um, original lock, original key, everything is sort of just untouched basically. So it's probably about as good as you're going to find one of those. So what else? We've got a little marvel. That's um, this is on free play at the moment. The little marvel, um, sort of cigarette packet reels, very nice reel strips in that. Very pretty. Did a little um, close up of the top there for those of you who haven't seen it. Positively, no sales to miners um, because, of course, it was cigarettes. Very on PC at the moment. And what else have we got? This space shot, um, Wonder Space Shot. <clears throat> um, what's this? Yeah, as found, working order. That's the trips for the two for the two four six pay up. Um, yeah, which are easy to do. They're just um, unlike the Wales machines where the pay up trips are little castings in the Wonders machines. They're just bent bits of sort of coat hanger wire. That's all they are. They're very, very you know, very easy to make. But that's again is one that doesn't turn up very often. <clears throat> um, what else have we got? Vendors, the Milky Way. Then these vendors have been restored, um, all restored, repainted, uh, new repro graphics on them. Um, cleverly, they've been done. So although it says 3D vend on the um, cabinet, uh, the Milky Way. This actually works on 50p coins, so you can you know stick it up in the wall in your house and use it. So that's quite a good idea. Um, and the Wrigley's one, same sort of thing, come from the same place. And that's actually on, uh, works on a 20 pence coin. So again, you can use that. Uh, the Wonders Lido, that's uh, caused a bit of a stir, very rare machine. I think there's, I think we found sort of two others maybe, so there might be three that I know of. And this is the first one I've seen actually in the flesh. So this had a, uh, a new cabinet made for it, very very well made. The original door, new cabinet. Um, it pays nine, six or three, instead of six, four or two, so you get a good payout for it. And you've got, I'll do a little close up. So you've got, you know, the kids playing in the pool and the one can you see my mouse pointer on the screen yeah, just about here you've got the lad diving in the pool and losing his trunk so it's quite um quite funny not really pc these days of course which makes it all the funnier um so yeah very nice machine old penny ready to go it's one of the giant you know one of the great big ball wins so two foot by three foot pretty much And what else have we got? Um, Bimbo talked about <clears throat> uh, his little French or win. Um, what does this need? Nineteen ten lacks a tin shoot from the bottom of the payout to the payout cup. Oh yeah, just a little easy little fix for somebody to do. So yeah, like me, had a bit of a hard life, but. Uh, Got the little egg hinges, which are always nice to see. This is sort of about 1910, this one probably. Nice little butterfly um, spandrels in the corners there. Can't really see on this. I'll do some close up pictures. And then the Brenner Fun, a really nice example of this one. Works perfectly, pays out as it should do. Um, yeah, very nice machine again. Where a pom, I just rather put a spelling mistake in there. Look, where a pom, note to self, correct spelling mistake. Um, spelling mistake in fun. Where a pom. Sounds slightly Australian, doesn't it? Right, there we are. Some, something else to fix. Um, yeah, so yeah, really nice machine, that one. Great fun to play for those of you who never played them. So the arrow moves with every um, with every game. You put the put your penny and put the plunge plunge down once, which resets all the mechanism. 
then the second time as you pull it down to go to fire it, the arrow moves to a random position. And the idea of the game is to get the ball past the arrow uh, to win. And then it pays out automatically. So it's all kind of spring loaded, brilliant mechanism, isn't it? So uh, yeah, nice thing. So there we are, that's that lot. Uh, any questions on any of those from anybody? Anybody need to know anything about them? As I say, hopefully, if I can get these videos off tonight, um, I'll get a few edited. We'll get many done tonight now. Tomorrow I'm out all day. <clears throat> so I'll have to do the rest Sunday. If, uh, if I have to reshoot them Sunday, then it'll be later Sunday by the time they get done, especially if there's um, viewings, obviously. Um, what else do I need to tell you? Anything? Um, machines, my phone's beeping at me. Why is that beeping at me? Somebody's, uh, no, that's about some, that's about a film job. That's all right. Leave that. Um, completely lost track. No, can't remember. Uh, right, any questions of anybody? Anybody got any problems, ideas, moans and groans, aches and pains, ailments, agony aunts, whatever? Do let me know in the comments below. Uh, if you don't know how to do the comments thing, you need to be... Um, uh, you need to be logged into YouTube, subscribe to the channel to, to do the comments thing. And apparently it doesn't work on mobile phones, somebody told me last week, which I didn't know. So um, you need to view it on a, like your laptop, proper computer, or maybe an iPad or something. Because apparently you can't put comments in if you're watching on mobile phones. Didn't know that. Uh, Peter, I missed some of the list of what's coming in this week. Okay, so if you go on our latest news page which is sort of the default page when you go to the website in the first in the on the latest news bit you see the little link here about our instagram thing uh, so as stuff comes in i'm taking quick phone snaps of or anything that's worth taking a snap of shoving it on instagram so you can have a quick sneaky peek at what's coming in uh, so this will always be a few days ahead of the website just because of the time it takes to upload things etc um so Let's see, all that lot's on already. So we're basically up to here, those signs I've done. So there's a load of bandits in. There are four high tops, so three and a Seeger high top. They're all on sixpence, they've all got jackpots, all restored. Um, as I was saying a little while ago, this, this mill, I think you can see my pointer on the screen, yeah, this mills is um, in its original paint for mica case, those two are oak cased, restored, repainted, and that one, the Seeker, I think, is oak cased as well, repainted. So they're all on sixpence. Um, at the back there, there's a Furman's front uh, Mills Pornzetia or similar. <clears throat> That's on Old Penny. So with a nice Furman's English conversion front, like a big jackpot front. Um, actually, it's obviously a jackpot in it, or a false jackpot but anyway it's quite a nice looking machine uh, there's a jubilee that's on sixpence i think that's all restored uh, there's three buckleys two of them are on old penny and the other one is on uh, threepenny bits uh, there's an aristocrat club master which is they don't come up very often which i think is the nicest aristocrat they made really nice looking machine that's on sixpence and there's a nice jubilee riviera which is on new 10p i think it's two two pools of 10p actually um so anybody who's psyched stuff you can stick it out on a modern thing on a, a 5p machine no problem all lights up so all these machines are really good all working perfectly all got locks keys and all ready to go um, now what i'm going to do with the um, 
high tops and possibly the Buckleys because we had um, several people said about the, with the last batch of machines where there was three duchesses and there was four uh, aristocrats and people were not n not knowing which one to make an offer on or cautious about making an offer on more than one because they didn't want to buy more than one and obviously with them all ending at the same time which was just what the, the guy who sold them all wanted that was a bit tricky for some people so what I'm going to do from now on, where there's duplicates of things in, like the high tops, I'll stagger them to end a week apart. So like, a, like with an auction, if you like, if you don't get the first one, you know, right, I haven't got that one, so I'll make an offer on the next one, and so on and so on until you get one. So that's what we'll do, where there's duplicates. So I'll do that with the high tops, and I'll do it with the Buckleys. Just spread them out. Um... I can't see it being very often that we're going to have more than three or four anything in, but uh, in the likely event that another high top ended, you know, came in next week, then I'll just put it on the end of the end of the queue, as it were. It'll still get listed, so you can still see what's in. <clears throat> um, but I think that's the best way to do it. So if anyone's got any observations on that, good or bad, uh, let me know. Um, I'll come to questions in a minute. Just let me go through the rest of what was in for Peter. Um, so that's the bandits. Um, there's a little whiz ball machine that's an old penny this was the one that i found in the bottom of one of john morley's machines when i cleared all his stuff when we sold all his collection off years ago it was all thick with paint for everybody who remembers it in the auction so that's all been restored five balls a penny that's quite a, a nice little machine really the good thing is it doesn't pay out anything so it's a great one to operate if you're operating on old penny um, and people love playing them i operated two or three of these <clears throat> in my operating days and they took good money actually surprising um, there is another vending machine um, two shilling cigarette vending machine all in, all in original paint which is quite nice for those of you who collect vendors um, the show cars are done they're on the website um, and then coming in, there's a, um, a La Ronde machine, which is, um, I'm not actually sure we've made them. Jameson's, I think, it's Jameson's style machine um, with a big spinning disc on the front, which lights up from behind. Haven't sold one for years. Um, but it's the usual, put your, I think it's on Penny. Um, press the button to stop the spinny thing and it pays out, etc. So nice looking thing. So those of you who like the 60s stuff, uh, there's a Parker's Carousel, which I think is the best design of Parker's machine they ever made. Um, always popular because of that crossover from the fairground collectors and the slightly collectors, that's an old penny. Um, it's one of the last ones that um, uh, Ray Roberts did with all the bits that he found in the Parker's factory. So it's original Parker's case, um, <clears throat> some original Parker's bits and some bits that had to be remanufactured where there just wasn't enough to to go around to finish the machines off so um, it's one of those in the oak case very very nice um was there anything else probably something else coming in but that's where we are with those um bum, do the high tops have cash boxes uh yes i think they've all got cash boxes I've also got in some of the spares that were coming in, spare uh, cash boxes. Um, newly manufactured, but you know, proper reproduction cash boxes. There's a um, top casting for Jennings Governor, it's been re chromed. Um, there's Jennings Governor head. There's some Seeker bits. Um, there's some coins. I've got to do a coin section of the website when I get around to it. Um, what other bits were there? I don't know, there's bits coming in anyway. There's a couple of mutoscope reels. I've still got to get around to digging my mutoscope out so I can film them. So yes, bits are coming in. I just you know, I've got to get around to like, listing them on the website, obviously. Um, right, any more questions off anybody? 
Uh, so viewing, as I said, for anyone who missed earlier on, this I can't do tomorrow. I can't do Saturday this week because I'm out with the kids. Um, Sunday's fine. <clears throat> and Monday I'm around as well, definitely. Um, but I was saying, because of all the stuff that's going to go on the website in the next two or three days, um, if you're free next weekend, you're probably better off coming next weekend or late next week if I'm around um, because there'll be just more to see. Um, and none of this stuff that's on the website at the minute ends this weekend, so there's no immediate rush to come and to come and look at it, as it were. So to save two trips, you might want to come next weekend. Um, Willie Billiston Sega mechs as well. Yes, there's three or four mechs, I think, to be listed. Forgot about those. Um, I think there might be three Sega mechs, and I think there's a... I can't remember what there is. There might be a Jennings or something, actually, the other mech. I can't remember offhand. But, yep, I'll get them dug out and uh, dusted off and listed. Uh, Peter, any response to the wanted ads yet? Where are we with wanted stuff? I don't think anyone's listed anything so far that anybody wants. Let's have a look. Oh, that's my... This is my um, test account, as it were. I put some test wanted adverts in. What am I looking for? Uh, coin up wanted is what I'm looking for, isn't it? Coin up um, wanted. Let's see. No, there's a short answer as per yet. Maybe because everyone's looking for relatively obscure things, but that's to be expected, really. Obviously, people are. Um, you know, you don't necessarily need to put a wanted advert for stuff that turns up relatively frequently. If you look through the wanted ads, most of this stuff are, is relatively unusual. So that push them off, with, that's the only one of those I've ever seen. <clears throat> okay, Cascades turn up. The swinging Swinger, that's a pretty rare thing as it's turning out. Crack Shot, there's two or three of them known. The progressive Star, they don't turn up very often. Um, satellite, that's the last one of those I saw. It was about six years ago. TikTok Octopus. I haven't seen one of those. Twinkle Toes I've never seen. Saxony Grip would just sold one, so I don't know why anybody in my office didn't get that one. Um, Etc. So, yeah. But early days, hopefully people will... Um, you know, have a rummage and start to sell things in due course that's that that's okay i'm just trying to do five jobs here at once as usual just quieting that off um yeah i've added a few images and some latest images bit in the slot section um a few other things people wanted listing so a few more machines being listed Finally found a six or more picture. Triple tap, um, Jamieson stuff. Dino shooter, They're quite a nice little war machine. Don't turn up very often. And what was this thing? Oh yeah, the color win. I remember that I should have bought that. I don't know who. I can't remember who bought it in the end. I sold that years ago. I haven't seen one since. Might put a white and add myself for one of those. Uh, yeah. Uh, David says hello. Are you going to start? accept slash selling spares uh yes david i was just talking about that a little while ago so the spares are coming in um, and i'm working on the spare section so i'm hoping by next weekend depending on how busy the week is that'll be up and running so here at the moment there's um some seeker bits there's <clears throat> um a top cast top front casting for a jennings governor which has been re-chromed there's a jennings indian head that goes on the governor um, there's some new repro cash boxes that will fit Mills, Seeger, um, high tops, etc. 
Um, <clears throat> what else is there? Some other bits as well. I can't remember what they are, but um, yeah. So bits are coming in. Um, I've just got to work. You know, work. I'm working on the wanted thing because you can't. Um, as I explained before, because some bits will fit a lot of different machines or are quite generic, like an all-win trigger, for example. Um, so I'll probably just have a page with a two columns on bits wanted, bits for sale. Um, and we'll we'll work out how to do it from there, really. So, yep, it's coming. So have a rummage around if you've got any bits for sale. Get them to me. And have a look in your shed at all the projects you've got stuck on because you'll desperately need a bit to finish it off and make a note. And I say hopefully from next weekend that bit will be up and running and we can uh, start selling some bits. Um, so yes, as I say, the advertising bit, I've been working on that a little bit more. It bit, works a bit better now. Um, some nice little show cards. This is quite a good one. A little bit of, I can almost use it on a mutoscope top flash. Blow the wisp. Stockings, very nice. The tights with that, actually, I think. Anyway, whatever. Not with my hairy legs, I don't think it'd suit me. Um, and some enamel signs. This is a good one. This is up a, a shop front discovered underneath the, um, you know, the shop front had been boarded over. So this is almost mint condition. So when you're doing a shop front, I've got a big wide shed. If your name happens to be Locke, you're onto a winner with that one. This National Cyclist Union, does anybody know if that's English? I've never heard of the National Cyclists Union. It almost sounds American. If anybody knows, I'd like to know. An official quarter sounds a bit kind of American to me. Any, any of you know about cycling or enamel signs, if you know where that is from, uh, please let me know. Peter, love the legs. Well, thank you. What can I say? Um, and then where are we? Books. Yes, yeah, so all I've got around to listing so far on the books are slot machine books. And that was principally big because we started off with the slot machine people. Um, I didn't see much point listing fairground books I've got and automata and other stuff until there's, you know, when there's some fairground art to sell on the website, then I'll do the fairground books and so on. Um, there's a collection of circus programs as well, and a lot of people collect those to go through. It's about 50, I think. Um, so I'll whack them on the scanner and get them uploaded. <coughs> Um, so yeah, that's where we're at. So yeah, and the fair and art bit, as I say, I'm working on that in the background and amongst everything else. So there's lots of bits being worked on. Hopefully by next weekend, a lot more sections will start to come online. Um, it's just that different sections kind of work in different ways, the way the searches work and, and one thing or another. Um, so for instance, in the advertising section, um, here we can search by type of thing. So I don't know, show cards if you like. So that shows all different show cards, etc. Or certain people collect certain brands like um, Coca Cola is a pretty popular one, isn't it? So C, uh, Coca Cola. So we've got Coke Neons, Coke Illuminated Signs, Coke Mirrors, Coke Clocks, and so on. Um, and again, the fairground art section, the searches work slightly differently because. An awful lot of fairground art, we don't know who the artist was. So we can't really necessarily just go by artist. Um, often don't know what ride or stall or whatever it's off of. So it's taking a bit of thinking about just to kind of categorise it down into sort of small signs, <clears throat> big chunks of art. Um, ride mounts, things like galloper horses, arc bikes. Um, and then things like dodging cars, ghost train cars, etc. So... Hopefully it will make sense 
uh, when it comes online very shortly. And then once we've got that done, we'll think about um, other sections. Um, I think as I said before, people, are, people have been asking about the Circus of Horrors, where we're going to do that again. Circus of Horrors. Auction of Horrors. I uh, must get hold of the Circus of Horrors and see if they're out and about. Um, so yes, I probably will do, is the answer to that. Um, and other stuff we dealt in before, like um, vintage toys and... Um, Um, sort of Americana stuff. Um, all of those things can be done in due course. It's just down to time, really. But if there's, you know, lots of collectors who are into, into and how are we doing for time? Quarter to nine. Anybody still watching? Oh, yes, there's still 18 people still watching, so. Somebody might need to know something. Anybody had any issues with anything? Get anything to work on the website? Or um, can't find anything? Do let me know. Um, as I've been slowly trying to find um, in the slot section, that's where we've got the most stuff listed at the minute, um, fill in some of the gaps where I haven't got photographs of stuff. Um, so if any of you've got photographs of anything, let's look. That's what we still want for Brian's, because I've got a little Brian's machines, aren't there? There's still a few pictures here I haven't managed to find yet. Uh, go to all Brian's machines. So still have photos here we need. All square crane, a bumper, magic machines, odd clod pendulum, peri the round, pop the copper. Must have photographs of them because I've sold several of them. Prize finder. Walden Goliath, waterfall and windmill. Windmills I've sold, I must have got photographs somewhere. It's a case of probably like the rest of you where the photographs are. But if any of you've got any photographs of, to hand of any machines we haven't got um, that I could use, that'd be great to fill some of these gaps in. Uh, I mean, some makers have hardly got any at all yet, so um, let's find um, what we've got here. Cromptons. Uh, there's probably a whole load here we haven't got, I should think, of Cromptons. Yep, loads of Crompton machines we need, look. Mm -hmm. Sky Iris, I saw a Sky Iris, I must have got a picture of that. Yeah. I don't know what Razzle does lose. What Razzle Dazzle? Pretty sure, I think. Not even sure what that is. Um, so, uh, yes, any help with that would be gratefully appreciated. Uh, right, how are we doing over here? Any more questions from anybody? Ideas, criticisms, need to know anything? Um, obviously, with deliveries, the smaller stuff like, um, you know, books, spare parts when we get them listed, um, the little signs, anything like that can be posted out, no problem, for whatever it costs to post it. Um, bigger machines can either be collected from here in Cambridgeshire or from the Elephant House, so that's easier. I'm back with some forwards a couple of times a week. Um, or come and get them, or send a carrier. I don't like sending machines on carriers for reasons I've said before. Just because you wrap a machine up and it's so heavy and bulky, the carriers just think it's indestructible and they end up on their side, upside down, you know, shoved across the backs of vans and um, doesn't do machines a lot of good, so I really don't like putting them on carriers. Um, I say I'm going to be at the Elephant House probably probably Tuesday, <clears throat> possibly later in the week as well. So if any of you've got stuff you want to drop off to sell, um, I can meet you there if it's easier than coming to over here to Cambridgeshire. 
that's not a problem. Just uh, get in touch, let me know. Right here. Uh, David says, can you put reserves on selling and not just accept the highest bid for that week? Uh, yes, David. So how it works is um, you don't need to put reserves on because what happens is you put your item on for sale, the offers come in, and then at the closing date, um, we let you know what the highest offer is. So if there's offers of 200, 300, 400, and 500, <clears throat> we'll say to you, right, the highest offer we've got for your machine, as we're talking about machines, is 500 pounds. Do you want to accept it, yes or no? So that's the reason you don't need to put reserve on, um, because it's only if you choose to accept that highest offer, 500 pounds, then we sell it, take the money off the buyer, give them the machine, send the money to you. So if you don't accept it, then we can either relist it again, or obviously take it back home again, try again later in the year. Um, I'm hoping most people are going to be sensible and, you know, not want to keep just refusing for the sake of it. Um, I mean, the first, those first 40 machines we sold all did pretty well, I think. They were all, you know, good prices, I think, when we look back at them. Um, there is, you know, there'll always be times when, for that period of time, just nobody wants that particular item. As, a, as there is in auctions sometimes, you know, I mean, at the moment, if, you know, nobody in the next two or three weeks wants a Jennings Governor, then it's not going to sell, is it? It's as simple as that. Um, so that's why, you know, I don't mind, you know, if there's not any sensible offers in, putting it back up again for another three or four weeks or whatever. But if it comes where there's a, a seller um, constantly rejecting what I would consider to be a decent offer, then... You know, I will say to them, look, you know, if you don't want to sell it, fine, take it home again, because we're not wasting everybody's time. Um, and that would just be based on um, sort of gut feeling and um, obviously the historic prices. Um, you know, I mean, for example, there's a really nice governor there, and really nice governors tend to make £800-ish. We have sold them up to 1000 we have sold them to sort of 650 so somewhere in that region, if we get high offers for that, and it keeps being rejected, then I'll say, okay, take it home again. Um, if the highest offer was only £400, for example, on a governor, on a nice governor, well, that, absolutely fair enough. That's not enough money I'd consider, so um, we'd just put it up again. So hopefully that makes sense, David. So the beauty of this is if you've got, if you're selling several machines at once, then, you know, rather than thinking about the individual price you'd like for each machine, again, we're talking about machines, it could be signs or anything else, but let's say machines, um, <clears throat> you know, think of your overall, think, okay, for those four machines I'm selling, I want to raise a thousand pounds or two thousand pounds or whatever. As long as those four add up to two thousand pounds, it doesn't really matter if one machine is a little bit lower perhaps than you'd really like. If it's made up by another one that's a bit higher than you thought you were going to get so you know it bounces out and hopefully you get your overall figure that way you get all four machines sold that you wanted to sell um, and you've raised the two thousand pound let's say you wanted to raise whereas if you to put them in auction with the reserve on each of those four machines you might only sell two or three of them in which case you haven't sold the four machines you want to sell so you've got to take two home again and you haven't raised the 2,000 quid you wanted to raise, you only raised perhaps 1,000 and took two home again. So you've only done half a job. So it's the benefit of doing this system, is if you're, especially if you're selling more than one thing at once, that um, you can you know, balance out the offers on, on items. Uh, David, makes sense, that's good. It's, um, yeah, you know, for everybody, it takes a bit of getting used to because it's a new way of doing things, but hopefully it does make sense and um, people will get the hang of it relatively quickly. Um, I've tried in the help section to explain it. You know, there's help with buying, help with selling, etc. Um, so, you know, read those through a couple of times if it doesn't make sense. 
And of course, if you're still stuck, ask. That's what I'm here for. Uh, any more? Any more? Any more questions? Anybody got a whole van load of stuff they want to sell? Anybody got a whole van load of money they want to buy stuff with? Anybody, um, yeah, got any bright ideas really? I don't know how the old um, lockdown thing's going to go. The way things are going, it looks like we're going to have another lockdown before long, I suspect, which I thought for a while. But, um, um, you know, with this system, now hopefully we're not going to be too affected by that um, because it's easy to, as we did a few weeks ago when we had to try and book people into hourly time slots if they want to come and view, we can just carry on doing that. So um, that's not really a great problem. Peter, any more large arcade machines due in? Uh, there is um, hopefully um, an elephant gift bender on its way at some point. The chap's just finishing off doing it. So you don't see those very often. And they take loads of money. Um, any other uh, large arcade machines? Not that I've heard of at the minute. Um, but we never know what's going to come in. You should buy the bimbo though, buy the bimbo box and take it back to Norfolk and put it back on site again, where it comes from. Take it back home as it were. Not only that, I can come and play it again. Um, any more, any more, any more? Oh, we've got a peerless picture, that's quite a big machine, if you're looking to fill space up. There is, um, thinking about, there was talk of four working models coming in at some point, but um, I haven't heard any more about that one, so. Um, don't know on that score. Tried to buy the last one, but it was the underbidder. Oh, the last bimbo. Yeah, well, there you go. Try harder this time. This one's better condition as well. Did the, I can't remember if the last one worked. I think it was mm, a bit iffy. This one does work. Um, I'd say it's on the original 45 record player. Which for operating now you'd probably just want to put a little digital box in it i guess that's what i'd do yeah and the little monkeys were in good condition and the cabinet's in pretty good condition as well actually just the one you really want just wants a good clean more than anything it's been in store for a long time It'd be nice if it stays here. The uh, I can't remember who did the last one go abroad. They usually the Dutch go mad for them, and it's a shame when stuff goes out of the country. But there we are. Be nice bring back to the east coast again. Absolutely, yeah. It's just what Great Yarmouth needs is a bimbo box. I don't know if there are any, any, I can't think of any other ones in arcades at the moment. There must be some somewhere, I suppose. I mean, still in like modern arcades, if anybody knows of any operating anywhere. Last one is in the UK, fully restored. Ah, oh, that's good. I can't remember who bought it. But it's good that it stayed here, that's nice. 
Um, so yes, anybody who hasn't already, um, as I was saying earlier, I set up a um, <clears throat> Instagram thing. I'm not very good on social media, but just really so I could do quick snaps of things as stuff arrives before I've had time to photograph it properly and take a video and upload it to the website and everything else. I can just take a quick snap with my phone and upload it onto um, Instagram there. So it's a bit of a you know preview of what's going to be on the website within a few days' time. Um, so those of you who do Instagram, follow us there. Just colcon.uk is the um, username or whatever it's called. And uh, if you don't do Instagram, it's about time you did. Ask your kids or your grandchildren. They're probably on it all the time. Instagram mostly seems to be about taking photographs of your dinner for some strange reason. I don't know why. But uh, I put pictures of slot machines and animal signs on there, so. But it's quite useful. It's quick and easy. So have a look at that. Uh, where are we? Go back to here. Uh, any more questions? What's the time? Nine o'clock. Anybody still watching? Still 15 people. Um, if there's not any more questions, then we'll call it a day in a bit. A nice short, sharp one. I'll be back in on Sunday night. Um, hopefully with this other stuff, um, these other 15 machines or so, if I can get them up on the website. Um, and say, depending on whether or not I can get these video files off the camera card that I spent all morning shooting, either there'll be videos, um, I might get a couple done tonight and then Sunday morning. Um, otherwise, I'm going to have to reshoot them all Sunday. So they won't start probably until you know, Sunday afternoon. So, technology, eh? Uh, Peter, signing off. See you next weekend, please. Yep, no problem. See you then. The kettle will be on. Um, so, yes, yeah, so Sunday night, as usual, five past eight. For the next um, stream, hopefully with these other 15 machines or whatever there are on. Um, and some more signs. Have I got more signs? Oh, yeah, there's some arcade signs I wanted to get on. Um, there's a little pair that's a um, mini arcade, I think they say. They're quite nice. There's a pointy arrow that says fun here or something. Um, there's another one like change here or something. Um, there's some machine stands, you know, like the iron, cast iron base things. Uh, so I'll try and get all that lot on. Um, on Sunday. So anybody wants to come to view Sunday, you can do. Monday you can do, definitely I'm here. Uh, the rest of the week I'm not sure about. But, um, you know, just send a message through, we'll sort something out. But as I was saying, you, you, if you're free next weekend, you're probably better coming next weekend, to be honest, because there's going to be twice as much stuff to come and see. So rather than coming twice, you might as well come once and see twice as much stuff. So any more questions? If not, we'll sign off shortly because we're nearly up to an hour. That's a nice sort of round number. Um, somewhere here, if I can ever find the button, it tells me how long it's been streaming for. Mm, I can never figure it out. One of these days I'll learn how to use YouTube. So any more, any more for any more? Um, if not... Uh, David said that went quick. Interesting. Yes, it does go quick, doesn't it? A quick hour, but it's good. It's good to catch up with people and um, always learn something. And you know, take people's questions, etc. So we're back again on Sunday, and then next Friday with the next lot of new stuff. So Sundays and Fridays, <clears throat> and loads of people love the kind of the results. I keep calling them shows, hardly a show as it be, you know what I mean, the little results uh, video we did. Um, so as the stuff 
in two, three weeks starts selling again on this constantly rolling thing, then we'll perhaps do a weekly results show as well, uh, just to run through what things sold for and uh, chew that over as well. Because people like to know all that stuff. Um, obviously it's useful to know, you know, if you didn't get something, what it sold for. Um, but equally it's, it's useful, of course, if you're thinking about selling something to know the kind of the market price you can expect to get. So uh, ultimately we may end up with then with three regular shows, Friday for new stuff, Sunday night for a general sort of chit chat and catch up, and then probably it would be probably Tuesday though I think for the results thing because the stuff um, finish, always finishes on a Sunday night at midnight then the seller's got 24 hours to decide whether or not to take that high offer so that takes us to Monday midnight so by Tuesday morning we should know whether the stuff is sold or not so we could do a results show on a Tuesday night in theory so that looks like what we'll aim for. And as I say, depending on how, you know, what happens on June 21st, whether the whole lockdown thing is finished or whether we end up in more lockdowns, who knows? Um, this is a good way of kind of keeping everybody together. People seem to enjoy it. Um, keeping in contact with people, explaining what's going on. Um, and, you know, keeping, keeping buying and selling despite all the restrictions. So there we are. So that's it, I think, unless anybody's got any more questions. Um, people are now starting to drift off, so that's good. Oh, there's a little like button under the video thing. Apparently when you do live stream, you're supposed to tell everybody to click the thumbs up like button underneath the video. I keep forgetting to do that, so. If you can find a, a thumbs up video button thing underneath the video, give it a click I'm not sure what it does but apparently it's the thing to do i think it makes your video more popular in theory or something so if it brings more people in that means potentially there's more people with stuff to sell and obviously more people to buy your stuff when you're selling it so really the more the merrier um likewise you know if you know anybody who has you know collecting any of the kind of stuff we're dealing who's been out of touch for a while um, do let them know we're up and running again um, and hopefully we can get them back in and back buying and selling and uh, you know gradually collect more and more people up uh, so there we are oh here's another one Hugh uh, first uh, Steve sorry late to the party not uh, yes, Bimbo. Uh, yes, it does work. Um, I'm going to do a little bit more tweaking before I take the video because it's not been used for a while. Uh, I think it's been stored about 10 years or so. But it does work. It's still got its 45 record player in it. Um, so it's all there, all complete. It works. It'll work a little bit better by the time of, you know, because it's just like, you know, needs a bit of oil here and there and a couple of odd little loose wires to make the lights come on as they're supposed to and one thing or another. Um, so yeah, nice machine. And I remember as a, as a kid, it come from um, Thomas's arcade in Hunstanton, <clears throat> which I used to go to when I was, you know, baby. So I'm going to rummage through the photo albums and see if I can find any pictures of me, because I used to love that machine when I was four or five years old playing it probably, when I had hair. And uh, that would be interesting to see. So yeah, I haven't videoed that one yet. I videoed the other machines this morning and then there's a fault with, I've done something, I'm not sure what I've done with my camera card and I can't get the videos off the camera card for some reason, so I may have to reshoot them all again tomorrow. Um, uh, Sunday rather, I'm out tomorrow. Um, so videos will appear from Sunday afternoon, probably. <clears throat> and the bimbo, um, probably slightly late with the week, because I say I want to just do a little bit more fiddling with it, give it a good clean, because the inside of the glass is quite dirty, which is why it looks a bit, a bit of a funny colour. 
Um, don't forget the back open and clean the glass up. Um, but yeah, nice machine. Uh, any more? Any more? Any more? Any more questions? Comments or whatever? Any more thumbs ups? Oh, look, I've got seven thumbs ups. Thank you, everybody, for doing thumbs ups. Uh, Hugo, okay, yeah, okay. Yeah, the last one we sold this one. And if you go on the Bimbo page, scroll down. Um, this picture is actually the last one we sold, <clears throat> which made uh, 2200 back in October 19. That's one of the last auctions we did before the lockdown and whatnot. Um, as you said, that one's a bit a bit tattier. I can't remember. I don't think that one was working. I don't seem to have got a video of that one, so it probably wasn't working. I think it was all there. And um, um, Peter said earlier on that it's all been restored. It's here in the UK, it's all been restored. And uh, But if I remember right, we couldn't get it running at the time, or which is why I didn't video it. Um, any more? Any more questions? More ideas, suggestions, or anything else? If not, we will call it a night and see you all again on uh, Sunday night, same time. By which time there'll be a lot more stuff on the website to talk about. There's about another 15 machines or so to go on. Um, and probably some other bits and bobs as well. So if you haven't done already, if you go to the um, latest news page, which is you know the home page when you go to the website, if you look in our, our top latest news box, you see the link here to our new Instagram thing. Um, Follow us over there because I just do quick snaps of things as they arrive in. So it's like a, um, a kind of preview of what's coming up within a few days' time onto the website. So it's a good way just to just to see what's going to be coming up for sale. Um, like all these bandits, which I've got a list, they'll go on on Sunday, hopefully. Um, those are already on. There's a little whizball machine that'll go up Sunday. Another vending machine. Um, these this stuff then is all on already all the stuff there on down so it's just a useful quick way to you know kind of communicate what's coming up so have give us a follow over there um any more I don't think there's any more questions coming in so I think we will call that a night I'm going to go and have another cup of tea because I'm gasping and then I'm going to go and try and get some videos to work. So viewing, no viewing tomorrow because I'm out and about with the kids. Sunday's okay. Uh, Monday's okay. But you're probably better waiting until next weekend or the end of the week because then there'll be twice as much stuff to see. So entirely up to you. If you want to come and view, no problem. Send us a message through the website and we can arrange a suitable time um, for you to come over. And I'll be in Leamington in the week, probably Tuesday, I think, um, if you've got stuff to sell and it's easier for you to drop it off into Leamington rather than over here in Cambridge, I can meet you with, at the Elephant House uh, in the week uh, and we can, you know, I can collect it in from there for you. So that's it. I will bid you all farewell. Uh, we'll see you all on Sunday night at five past eight as usual. Have a good one. And um, have a jolly weekend. Hopefully the sun will stay shining. And we will see you on Sunday night. Bye-bye.